Hi everyone, my name is Adesh Mishra and you are watching Youth Nation Coders. Today we are going to solve one more problem on code shape. The problem is seal and recept and the problem code for this particular question is C-I-E-L-R-C-P-T. The problem code as well as the solution of this problem you can get down in description below. So what this question is all about, Tomya is a girl and she loves Chef Seal very much. Tomya like a positive integer P and now she wants to get a recipe of Seal's restaurant whose total price is exactly P. The current menu of Seal's restaurant is that eel flavored water is of price 1 rupees or you can say 1 dollar. Deep fried eel bones is 2 dollars. Clear soup made with eel livers is 4 dollars and this is the entire menu and it goes from range of 1 to 2048. Note that the ith menu has the price to the power i minus 1. It means if we talk about the first menu, it is the first thing. So to the power i minus 1, that means the value of i will be 1 because this is the first part of the menu, first uh, first index of the menu. Then you can say to the power 1 minus 1, it means 0. To the power 0 is equivalent to 1. This is the second uh, second uh, menu. Then you can say that to the power 2, uh, to the power 1, I'm sorry, to the power 2 minus 1, that means to the power 1 and it is equivalent to 2. This is the third uh, third thing which we can get. So it is to the power 3 minus 1, that means to the power 2 and to the power 2 is 4. And in this case, this is a fourth serving. Then you can say that to keep power four minus one, that means to keep power three, and to keep power three is eight. So these are the prices according to the positioning of these items in the menu. Since Tomia is a pretty girl, she cannot eat a lot. So please find the minimum number of menus whose total price is exactly P. Note that if she orders the same menu twice, then it is considered, considered as two menus are ordered. See explanation. Okay, input is first line contains integer t, the total number of test cases, and the output will be for each test case, print the minimum number of menu whose total price is exactly p. So let's see that number of test cases. So here for four number of test cases, she had $10. So for $10, she can get uh, this dish with $8 plus $2, $8 plus $2, $10, she can get two dishes from that particular menu. So the answer will be two. Then for the second case, she has $256. So she can get one item that is of the cost $256. So this will also give her uh, only one item from this particular menu of $256. If she has $255, then she can't buy uh, this much of food because it is above the price that she has got in her pocket. Then she will order the uh, one thing of 128, 128 plus then something for $64. Right? The rates will get reduced and we will find out that how many uh, dishes she can order. So we know that 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 and up to 1 if we add all these values then we are getting 255 this is obvious so 255 is the money that she has got in her pocket so how many items she can buy 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 she can buy 8 items from this so where is 8 uh, here the answer is 8 for 4096 dollars she can get 2048 dish two times like this is full course a meal and she can buy this meal two times so it will be a 4096 this is obvious so she can buy two meals out of the entire chart so this is what the question is all about that we are given the price range or the amount of money that she has in her pocket and we have to calculate how many number of dishes from that particular menu we can get or we can just give her to eat so what we have done uh, i have created this code before to reduce the amount of time which we which we used to spend in writing the code so first of all we will take test cases as input it is an integer value so we will create a while loop for that number of time t number of times and every time we are getting some value a a is the amount which she had in her pocket and then we will send this amount to this particular function check function and then this check function is receiving the amount that she has then we are creating a list of the amount that 
we we have seen in that menu before like the first item was 2048 second item was 1024 512 256 this thing then we have to count the number of dishes so we at initial point the number of count is zero because she hasn't selected any dish yet so what is our task our task is to reduce the amount till it becomes zero and then we have to count how many dishes we can buy from it so let us assume uh, let let me explain uh, you this code and then after that we will take examples and we will understand how this code is going to work for those examples so our first task is while our amount is greater than zero then we have to do something so this line is simple while our amount is greater than zero then we have to buy something and for buying what we can do for the rate or you can say for rates in list this these are the rates if my amount is greater than and is equal to the rate value then we are increasing the value of count it means we are going to buy that particular dish if i take example of 2049 if we take example of 2049 dollars she has then 2049 is greater than zero obviously then we will check from these list of menus how can we get or how can we spend money to get the value or to, to get the total number of items from that chef uh, from that uh, menu so we will check for each value first of all we will check for 2048 dish we can we afford this dish so if our amount is greater than 2048 so we have checked 2049 is greater than 2048 yes you can buy that dish so what we are going to do we are going to just see that how many dishes can we buy because we had of before 2049 the last test case was 4096 that means we can buy this dish two number of times because we have our amount so first of all we will check for 2049 whether we can buy this dish one time two time three time how many times so this can easily be uh, this value can easily be get by dividing 2049 by 2048 simply like the last example was 4096 so for this value of amount we can get two dishes so how have we got two dishes 4096 divided by 2048 2048 two times 4096 so this means if we have amount 2049 so can we get one dish or two dish or three dish how can we calculate it by dividing it by the particular amount or in the menu so we have divided our amount our amount in our pocket by 2048 so this means we can buy only one dish by 2048 dollars then we have counted that value count plus is equal to number of days we can buy so how much money is left how can we calculate it we will calculate it by reducing the value of amount so amount will be what will be the amount we we have written here our amount will be our previous amount minus how many number of times we have got that we have just uh, asked the waiter to bring that is count number of times in our example the count resembles how many times we have ordered this particular dish so number of time we have ordered that dish into the price of that dish so we can write this thing this is similar to the remainder that we can get how how can we write this thing amount is equal to amount and then divided by i and we will get the remainder means how much money we have left if we buy this this much of uh, cost of this particular dish from that menu then we have only one dollar left in our pocket so how can we get this one value by dividing amount value by 2048 and check what is the remainder how much money we have still in our pocket to buy something else so you can write either this thing or you can write either this thing so i have written this value amount is equal to amount modulus i and then we have left one dollar then we will check for other values one zero two four so whether our one our amount is greater than we can we buy one zero two four no can you buy five and twelve no not two fifty six no 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 and then for this value one if one is greater than is equal to one that means we have one dollar in our pocket and can we buy the dish of one dollar 
yes so how many times we can buy this particular dish so we can just easily divide the both the values one upon one so it will give us one so the value of count will be two because we can buy only two dishes by 2049 rupees 2048 plus one dollar so this is simple amount value will be how much amount we have left we had one dollar in our pocket and we have just bought this last dish which cost rupees one so that means how much we have left we have left one divided by one the remainder is zero so we have left with zero amount so how many value or how many dishes we have bought till now that is stored in the count so we have to print count at last because our amount is not greater than zero now so if we talk about 4096 in this case you can see that while our 4096 is greater than 0 then we will check for each item and then every time we will check whether our amount that is in our pocket is greater than the cost of those particular items in the menu if it is greater than then we will just count then increase the value of count means we will buy that thing and we will reduce the amount that we have in our pocket and every time we will do so and at last we will get the total number of count or the total number of dishes which we can buy by the particular amount which we have in our pocket so this is all about this question seal and recipe let's check that uh, whether it works for this particular dish case or not so here for these values we are getting 2 1 8 and 2 let us see that what's the answer 2 1 8 and 2 this is a correct answer so i think this is how we can easily solve this seal and recipe on code chef click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time